Hi everyone, so this is the um, hand plane UDK output comparison video. And I'm going to start the video off by showing things as screenshots, then I'll switch over to Unreal to actually in real time. But it's a little easier to show um, the exact same camera angles overlaid uh, as screenshots. So to start off, this is the um, hand plane Unreal output. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, there are some very minor issues. This shadow running across this flat face isn't entirely shaped correctly, but um, it's still very good. And if I switch over, this is the July 2012 UDK build workflow of um, baking in XNormal and then exporting tangents and binormals with your model um, into Unreal. So this relies on using two checkboxes, um, explicit normals and import tangent. And this map was baked with XNormal set to uh, bake the low poly normals. So as you can see, uh, this actually doesn't look quite as good as the hand plane output. Another really important thing to mention is uh, with current builds of UDK, this output with uh, the importing tangents doesn't work with skeletal meshes, and skeletal meshes are the kinds of things you're going to want to bake, like guns or vehicles or characters. Um, anything rigged would be a skeletal mesh. Um, so this is static mesh only and doesn't look as good. This works for everything uh, and looks better. And then as a third thing to show, uh, if you do, for whatever reason, want to use some sort of importing tangents workflow, uh, Henplane has the ability to take the low poly model and read the normals and mesh tangents and bake a tangent space map based on that information. And that's what this looks like. So this is again better than the XNormal output, but still suffers from the same uh, issues of only being compatible with static meshes in Unreal. And then to compare the two Henplane outputs, they're really similar. The Henplane native Unreal output actually looks a little bit better, but it's really close. I guess now I'm going to jump into Unreal and I can show you guys uh, these things in motion. So right now I've got the uh, XNormal output loaded up. And there's an issue I've run into when you import tangents into, um, I guess, anything from 3ds Max, is that Max has an issue where it's not orienting the tangents correctly on mirror geometry. So if you look at the other half of this side pod, it looks really bad. And we can see the reason why it looks bad by turning on binormals or tangents and comparing the orientation on either side, and they're not oriented the same way. And I haven't been able to fix this uh, with Max. I'm on Max 2010 with the latest FBX library available for that. If someone knows how to fix this, let me know. But I imagine a lot of people are going to run into this who use uh, this workflow along with uh, 3ds Max. So it is an issue uh, worth mentioning. But fortunately, it does not happen with a hand plane output. And also, just as a quick note, um, I did try to fix this, and I did everything I could think of, uh, resetting transforms, I used symmetry instead of mirroring to make the opposite side, um, edit normals modifiers, stacking edit poly or edit mesh modifiers, uh, merging into a new max scene, um, and whatever I did, the mirrored copies still seem to be distorted. So now this is the uh, hand plane input tangent output. So it works the same way as the, as the uh, X normal workflow, but it works a little bit better. See, it's improved, but the mirroring is still broken. And that just seems to be anytime you import tangents on a mirrored object into Unreal, it seems to have this problem. And then lastly, I'm going to switch over to the uh, hand plane native Unreal output. And you'll notice this looks really bad. And that's because I'm still importing tangents and using explicit normals in the import options. And that imported data conflicts with the data uh, we're calculating. Because the way the hand plane output works is it actually calculates normals for Unreal and tangents for Unreal when it makes a tangent space map. It's not passing any of that data um, into Unreal. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that. I'll load up the content browser. I'm going to re-import the model. And I'll show you these settings. So uncheck import tangents when you use hand plane. And uncheck explicit normals. And I always uncheck remove degenerates because it's possible for that to break the shading. And it looks great. And as you can see, one nice advantage is it looks good on both sides. As you can see, there's still some uh, minor shading errors. But this is currently uh, the best output you can get for Unreal. And then just as a point of comparison, uh, the three norm maps that I've just shown, these are all relatively new workflows uh, from the last say, year and a half from that July UDK built on. Um, if you want to see a comparison of what Unreal looks like without importing any information and just using, say, like a max normal map. I can do that. You can see how awful that looks. It's 
pretty much unusable. And then an X normal map for comparison. Again, really bad. So once again, I'm gonna switch over to uh, hand play native Unreal output. And take a look. <laughs> 